NASA was able to recreate the origins of life and the results are shocking. So a recent study by NASA scientists have been published where researchers did nothing more than convert a precursor chemical into a single type of amino acid. Despite the simplicity of this experiment and the lack of anything helpful to the evolutionary theory, the popular media exclaimed that scientists were able to recreate the origins of life. In reality, the only thing shocking about this new story is the absurdity of the claim. From start to finish, the whole evolutionary story of life is void of empirical support, and one of evolution's greatest hurdles is the fundamental problem of how life could have begun, and how life first transitioned from unicellular to multicellular organisms. You see, cell life requires DNA, RNA and proteins in a complex interlocking system in which each biomolecule depends on the other two to both exist and function. And since each type of biomolecule also contains complex encoded information, then intelligent input is the only logical source for their existence, not random chance processes. Many different types of experiments have been conducted over the past 60 years in attempts to recreate the molecular building blocks of life under so-called primitive conditions. But these experiments have all failed. And now we have another headline in the news making claims of success in solving the mystery of life's initial origins. In the story describing the study, the author states, A new NASA study has recreated the origins of life, building the ocean's floors from 4 billion years ago, as humanity attempts to understand how life started on Earth and where else it might be found. As we will see, this claim is entirely false. The study in question attempted to create a scenario, supposedly mimicking conditions surrounding a hydrothermal vent. You see, some evolutionists see deep sea vents as providing conditions conducive to the spontaneous generation of life in a primeval early earth covered only by oceans. In today's world, only highly specialized and engineered creatures capable of withstanding the extreme conditions are able to live near these vents. No spontaneous formation of life is occurring. The research in this study utilized the organic compound pyruvate in a reaction with a specialized form of iron called an oxyhydroxide. Under the human engineered and controlled conditions, the researchers were able to get the reaction to produce the amino acid alanine. In other words, only one of the 20 amino acids needed for proteins in real living cells was produced and the media claimed it recreated the origins of life. What's even worse, because living cells only produce and use left-handed chiral variants of amino acids, the study did not indicate what type was produced. Most likely, it was a mixture of both left and right-handed molecules, which would be completely useless for life. And adding to the origin of life absurdity surrounding this research was the fact that the starting compound of pyruvate is typically only produced in living cells in a metabolic pathway starting with glucose. On top of that, the recreation with iron oxyhydroxide could only productively take place at a controlled alkaline pH and a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. When looking at the details of the research paper itself, the overall value of this effort to advancing the evolutionary agenda is effectively zero. And even if they somehow were able to produce life under special conditions with intelligent input, it would only prove that it requires intelligence to create life. Remember, it should be random, with no guidance, and produced with chemicals that came from nowhere, that evolved over billions of years with trillions of new information, that also came from nowhere. It really is astonishing what some people would choose to rather believe, only to reject the obvious evidence that there is a creator who created all things. The evolutionary theory is a hindrance to science and logic. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.